just before it blows away, and it's had a little bit of a hammer in the last couple of days in the wind, I've got the remnants of a peacock tail. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to take three fibres from that peacock tail, snap them off, and I'll have to go to the scissors. I'm just going to cut them off so they're square. And then I'm going to tie that peacock on to the shank of the hook. So we're just going to bind that on. So first stage, sorting. Then, by passing this peacock around, that's going to give me a, a sort of a furry body. And most flies, if you look at them closely, you'll see that they've got a, a textured body. And this, being peacock, has got a little bit of a metallic -y sheen to it as well. And I'll just bring the thread up around just to tie that off. So really, really simple, basic fly. So I've got a little bunch of these feathers. Now these come from the oil cream gland of the duck, so they naturally float. And they're really, really good feather for, for keeping this fly on the surface. So I'm going to hold them there. And we're just going to tie these feathers. This is, this is just to get everything done and give you an idea of what we put together to make these flies to catch our trout. I'm now going to do a whip finish. And I'm going to create a little loop there and I'm going to whip that around and then using the weight of the bobbin holder to pull that down that should pull right the way in so I'm going to do another one just to make sure so really simple fly just a little bit of peacock and a little bit see the French, the French think they invented this so they called these little feathers cold de canard but it's just a bit of feather from the oil queen gland of a duck isn't that fish? He was taking something out there quite readily, and now I've got a fly out there and he's not playing. Lights, oh, there he is. So I'm just going to bring that back, change the angle, and drop the fly over. Now, whether that's the same fish or a different one, in actual fact, it's easier with a really strong wind than it is with this gentle little breeze. Now the li oh, go on, yeah, there he is. I watched that fish because I'd gone onto the Polaroids then. I could see that fish coming up through, coming up to the fly. And he inspected it a little bit. He had a good little look at it before he decided that he was going to take it. So I'm keeping the rod nice and high so that as that fish is, you can see it kicking. You can see the rod kicking. And I'm just playing that fish out. We're really lucky here. Um, it's probably the only show that you'll see where we actually do catch trout. And that's thanks to Justin Ruscom King of West Country Trout, who, who stocks these really good trout in here for us, just for the show. It's a little bit weedy, so I'm having to keep that pressure fairly high on the fish so that he doesn't get down in the weed. But... We're starting to tire a little bit now, but you can see it's it's quite quite a quite a fight from what isn't a particularly big fish, and you can see the the pressure that I'm having to put in to control this fish, and we don't want to try to haul them in because if we try to haul these fish in too quickly, then the line will break and we'll leave that fly in the fish and. That's, that's a valuable fly. I've just tied that. I, I really enjoyed it. We're just starting to get this fish a little bit more tired. He isn't quite ready. And we're going to bring him in. And he's in. And he's over the net. So there is their fish. Caught with a fly that we just tied on the table there a moment ago. To fill it in, being right-handed, I'm going to have it on the board with the head looking away from me and the back of the fish towards me. Knife under the petrol fin. All these fins have got names. Petrol, pelvic, anal. That's a tail, but fancy people call it a caudal. Adipoise, which denotes it's a game fish, and dorsal. So under the petrol, knife to the head, and through. Take a line from the dorsal to the head, and cut. 
knife in, feel the backbone, ease the knife over the backbone to the vent, and then use the bone as a guide to take the knife through. I can now just ease the knife down through the pin bones, and you can see the colour of this fish looks just like a piece of salmon. That's because it's very closely related to a salmon. It's a rainbow trout, so it's related to a Pacific salmon rather than an Atlantic salmon. It's an American fish, brought over here both for food and for sport because it grows faster than our native ground trout. And there, the first fillet take off. I'm not seasoning it, I'm not playing around with it at all. This is basic trout as it came out of the lake on a little bit of peacock feather with some duck clan feathers, but it caught us a trout. Nothing too clever, but great little fly. Right, wait just a second because this is going to be really, really hot. But there, what do we like time-wise? Yeah, we're on the half an hour. So we've managed to tie the fly, catch the fish, fillet it, cook it. There's already been a little bit eaten. I'm just going to put it onto this side of the board. Now, as I say, it's, it is very hot at the moment. And I can see these youngsters are dying to get in there. So any of the adults that want to get and have a taste, I suggest you get in fairly quickly. But from me, Gary Champion, thank you very much to for watching and listening. And hopefully we'll see you again at demonstrations later in the day. Thank you.